Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> My name is Evelyn Colon, and I'm a hometown girl, first of all. I was born in Seabrook, but I was raised here in Highway Park starting out over in what was then called the Old Quarters and then my parents moved over here to what was then called the Sub, Subdivision. So, and I won't tell you how many years ago that was. But anyway, um, because I love my hometown and you should never, ever, ever forget where you came from, no matter how far you may go, who you are starts with where you came from. So I was so happy when I found this organization and had a chance to come and give back to the community. And I want to welcome each and every one of you today to our grand opening of the Village Green Community Park and Resource Center. First of all, it is very important that you know that the majority of this was done by not just our organization, but by local business owners and by our friends and many, many sponsors. And we've been working on this now. We started working on this building and this park about 40, no, maybe about um, six months ago. After we had our first Founders Day celebration, six months ago. And now we're bringing it to fruition. So before I go further, may I take a moment to introduce to you several people, key people, who were integral to this happening. Starting with our president, Tiffany Green. And our vice president is not here today, Sarah Schultz, but we're gonna recognize her anyway. And Patrice Ayala, who is our secretary, her, her father, she just lost her father. You guys know uh, <laughs> Minister um, McGahey. We call him Mr. June. Mm -hmm. but Minister McGahey, we just lost him a couple of weeks ago, and her son is ill, so she's not here with us. We have our treasurer, Teddy Callahan, and he is also our primary project lead for this building renovation. We have Janice Allen, and she is our logistics coordinator and events coordinator. We have our assistant uh, project manager, Dennis Crenshaw, with us. We have our volunteers, Erica, Erica, Treadwell with us. We have a volunteer, Carrie Rose, with us. And we have Mrs. Listra Callahan, who is the right hand person of Teddy. Without him being there, her being there for him, this would not have been done. Calvin Wilson, who is the, the husband of um, one of our other event coordinators, Shirley Wilson. They're at the funeral. So I wanted to let you know who we were, first of all, and to introduce you to several people who have taken time to come down today to be with us, several key people. And we have Christy Reed, and she is with the Highlands County, Keep Highlands County Beautiful. We have our own Bishop Callahan, who is here today, and he's going to bless our building and our grounds with us. We have Mr. Ben Car Carter from South Florida State College. We have Mr. John Roush from South Florida State College. We have his lovely wife. She's waving from the back. And need to come out of the sun. Come on, come on, okay. <laughs> well, we have our own commissioner, Don Elwell, who is with us today. We have our sheriff, James Fansler, who is with us today. I mean, our Hello. chief, Lake Placid Police Department, Chief Fansler here today. And we have our own sheriff, Susan Benton, with us today. Did I leave out anyone else? Anyone oh, nice. else? Okay. <laughs> and we have Kenya Anderson, and Kenya is here, and she's from the Highlands County uh, Engineering Department. We're so happy to have her here. We have the press with us, and it, this is Brian. Brian Hurley with us today. And we have, of course, our cinematographer, Rick Chirac, he's here. And our um, DJ, Derek Hawthorne, is here with us today. Mm -hmm. And all of our friends and families, if I've missed your name, I won't tell you how old I am, but I graduated a long time ago. So. <laughs> yes. So, with that being said, um, where's my sister Shirley? She went to pick up your father. Oh, she went to get my dad. Oh, okay. All right. But anyway, we have had some really wonderful help, wonderful assistance with this. This has long been a dream. When um, Vincent Hill, who was our original president, we walked past here one day and we saw this building and it was very dilapidated. And then the land around it and we said, what can we do? Something has got to be done so that we can help. Instead of just finger pointing and talking about what somebody else should do, 
we thought it would be best if we do what we can do and then maybe somebody else would join in. I grew up here in Highway Park and I left and went off to school and eventually I went to the military and I, um, I would travel, you know, you go somewhere for a few years, you make friends and then you have to leave or they leave and you go somewhere new and being single, you know, you kind of miss that whole family thing. And I would really get excited about being able to come back home and see the people who call me Tip. Nobody else calls me that. You know, other people who are familiar with me, they call me Tiffany. I was in the military, so a lot of times it's green. But whenever I hear someone say tip, I know that it's home. I know that it's family and friends. And I wanted to come and, you know, and be home and get that love. But I would come here, and after being here a few days, it would get a little bit depressing, you know, because of the way that things look. And I didn't remember it looking like that growing up. I guess because I was here every day, and it's, it's what you're used to seeing but I knew that I wanted something better and I knew that I couldn't just sit back and complain about it. I had to actually be a part of it. Even though it seems a little overwhelming, a little daunting, if you take that first step. And so I decided to start talking about it and I realized that Evelyn was talking about it and that Vincent was talking about it and that there was a group that was already here. And so we eventually got it together and formed up and started working. And as big of a project as it seems to be, if you just take that first step, so much is accomplished. I mean, if you're looking at the palm trees, the grass, some of you have already been inside of the building. If you haven't, we'll do a little tour. And you see that and you realize that if you just take that first step, if you just pick up a paver and move it over here and put it down, that you're gonna get this beautiful walkway. So although it may seem daunting, once you get started, it's really, really not that um, overwhelming, especially when you get help. So we really want people to come out, you know, use the center. It's not the Highway Park Neighborhood Council's building and park. It's the communities and not just Highway Park, but the greater community. You can use this building. We'll be having um, workshops possibly a GED program. We have our people here from South Florida Community College that are willing to help us with that, but classes on home ownership, how to get a home without having to put a down payment. Um, and you can use the building for your own celebrations, you know, your own gatherings. And as we complete the park and have an area for the children and a place to sit in a shaded area, you can come out here and just gather and talk and enjoy your Village Green and Community Center. So please come out, enjoy it, and please come out and help us maintain it. It has to be maintained. The electricity has to stay on. The water has to stay on. Um, and you can come by here at any time, or you can you know, see one of our board members, flag them down, ask a question, and friend us on Facebook so that you can get in touch and so that you can know what's going on. Highway Park Neighborhood Council, we're on Facebook. Keep Highway Park beautiful also on Facebook um, and we, we post a lot of um, information about what, what it is that we're doing and we'll be having events here as well. Our next event is going to be in October, Founders Day is going to be right here as well. So the community will be able to come out and enjoy it and that's what I really want to encourage everyone to do. And in the spirit of showing you just how easy it can be <laughs> to just come and pick up a stone or come and donate your skills or your talents, I would ask everyone to stand up if you're not already and you can. It's a really simple task. Just in the spirit of volunteering and donating, I have a few pavers over here and it's as simple as walking over picking up a paver and moving it to another spot. We started a little area right here, a little corner. So if you can, it's only a few pavers, but a few of you, if you want to go grab a paver, yeah, and just pick it up and move it over here. Just get that energy going. Let's do a countdown. One, on the count of three. Two. <laughs> 